and move the market like that, right. back off, okay? And that's what people are saying because even though people like to invest when there's, first of all, funds can shorts, just so you know. Well, it will get better if, for some reason, maybe the Fed will lower rates. Who knows? That would maybe show some optimism a little bit. Power. Uh, talk about Disney. That's one that you like. Year to date, it's up 20%. We have Disney Huge. Plus. You have the theme parks. It's all about Star Wars. You have movies. Uh, what are your thoughts on Disney? It's up 20% so far this year, but you think this is a momentum player? It just keeps going? I, I, previous guests talk about yeah, banks. Marianne, I gotta tell you. He likes them. No, I don't like them. I okay. don't like them. I disagree with them. I'm sorry to say. You know, with reciprocity with respect to the wording of the deal, they didn't say anything about um, curtailing their investment in state-owned enterprises. They didn't say anything about intellectual property theft. I would be dipping my toe into some risk within the U.S. in the cyclical sectors. Um, you know, but we're a couple of weeks away from the G20 meeting, right. and um, there's going to be fits and starts between now and then. So before I get to what you think the Fed might do, um, talk about what you said you'll be dipping your toe. The very back end of the Treasury market, the five-year uh, note yield relative to 30-year note, yeah. about getting to that zero lower bound, you know, zero rates again, and so better to cut a time or two now to potentially extend the business cycle and productivity up, mm -hmm. right? As mm -hmm. opposed to wages going up because we're running out of bodies. Right. So labor market dynamism looks like it's, it's, it's improving. Business confidence, believe it or not, capital spending plans held up well last month. Yes. 